Um, you know, one of the things that becomes very clear to me um, at events like this is that we're never really just talking about Braille. This is a thing that was kind of going through my mind throughout the afternoon is that, you know, people kind of view our community as niche, you know, specifically about Braille or the Braille code. But because Braille is access to reading and writing and literacy, it's never just about Braille. It's about access to life and access to all the things in life that literacy touches on. And I feel that this was really woven throughout the day. We started off talking about equity to literacy um, and education that, you know, not every student has. We've talked about, you know, really thinking a lot about the questions we ask about Braille literacy rates and whether we're asking the right questions or forming them in the right way to think twice about that because it does have consequences. We talked about how Braille is actually, you know, this connection that we have to a really rich history in our community. And we've talked about how important it is to increase access to all of these subjects that have traditionally been viewed as very visual and Braille is a really key part of that. So it's just something that I think is, is really nice to see um, and all of this great conversation that comes out when all of us are together and bring all our ideas in one room, one virtual room. So I, I would just like to thank everyone who has participated in today, um, our speakers for all of your excellent talks and all of the things that it has led us to think about. I want to thank all of my fellow board members, everyone who helped present speakers, who helped organize the event today, all of our volunteers. I would like to especially thank our sponsors, Humanware, Crawford Tech, and iDesign for supporting this event and for all the very exciting door prizes. Thank you to all of our participants for your fabulous questions. And our day isn't quite over yet. We are now going to be turning it over to trivia at 5 p.m. Eastern, which Tammy has been working very hard to organize for everyone. And we hope to see uh, those of you who indicated that you will be there. We hope to see you there uh, for some fun, some Braille fun. And just to remind everyone, this event is recorded and will become available along with the written transcripts. And again, for those of you who are new to BLC, uh, really we're just a reflection of the Canadian Braille community, whether you're a teacher or a Braille reader or anywhere in between transcriber, proofreader. And because of that, um, your voice is really vital. Hearing about you know, how we can best support you, um, whether it's a specific workshop you'd like us to cover or, or other things as well. Uh, we love having these conversations with you. So please do reach out to us. Um, you can write to us at info at blc-lbc.ca and you can visit us at braillelitercycanada.ca. Thank you for all of your support and we will now take a break and return very soon at 5 p.m. Eastern for Braille Trivia. Thank you everyone. <laughs>